Um, Billy Billy Shiraz is in some ways the hardest wine to make here. Um, I say that because we're aiming for a, a quality and price uh, kind of a proposition that's, that's really, really competitive. Uh, people who drink Shiraz in Australia under $20 are looking for loads of generosity of fruit um, and lots of flavour and, and lots of quality. Uh, you know, Shiraz is Australia's biggest red grape. It represents nearly half the red grape crush. And, and so Shiraz production in Australia is fiercely competitive. And I'm forever watching what's on the retail shelves for what my competitors are doing and what my friends and colleagues are making because there's such great value out there and we have to you know uh, bring ourselves into that game as well I suppose but on top of that Billy Billy really has to represent Mount Langy and so not only does it have to have all the great red wine attributes but it has to have that spice and uh, an essence of the house style uh, by that I mean a, a whiff of pepper, spicy complexity, a medium bodied palate and a real sense of cool climate, Australian Shiraz. Um, so we bring all that together by uh, buying some grapes from around Victoria. We've got a uh, 60 and 180 year old vineyard in Swan Hill that uh, deliver us tremendous fruit, uh, lovely berry flavours and boysenberry aromas. Uh, we have a, another vineyard in Heathcote where we see much more structured Shiraz and lovely earthiness and then we have our vineyards, young vineyards here in the Grampians which bring on the spice and a sense of Mount Langy Duran. Bringing all that together is quite a challenge um, and we do very honest wine making with Billy Billy even though uh, that's costly but it all goes through small French oak barrels. It's made in traditional open fermenters and it gets a lot of hand work to do so but uh, I don't want to use industrial wine making tricks so that's where we come to. Um, I, it only sees a little bit of new oak. I don't think uh, our red wines benefit from being massively oaky, but I think the oak that's there really supports the, the fruit and spice flavours in the wine.